fountain pens are having a resurgence in popularity. Pop culture has a growing obsession with the retro, with vinyl, 8-bit games and 70s fashion all making a comeback. In a high-tech world, where the vast majority of writing happens on a keyboard or touchscreen, handwriting has become something we do to relax or create instead of being a necessity. There's a new generation raised by the computer screen who crave the authenticity of putting pen to paper. Biros do the job just fine, but when you're taking a break from typing to write for pleasure, fountain pens just have a bit of a sense of the ritual around them. In short, writing with a fountain pen just feels really satisfying. Unfortunately, not everybody has hundreds of pounds to splash out on a vintage Parker 51 or an elegant Mont Blanc Meistertuck 149. So, what's available at a more reasonable price? Luckily, the Chinese factories have got really good over the years at making fountain pens, so I've taken a sample of some of the more popular examples available online. These came from resellers on eBay and AliExpress, and quite often for shockingly low prices. First up are a selection of pens from a company called Jinhao. The Jinhao X450 and X750 are popular choices in the budget fountain pen community, and can be found for under £3 each, including delivery. That's crazy when you consider that the pens are made of lacquered brass with metal fittings and come with a refillable ink piston known as a converter. The X450 has an indented grip section with positions for your fingers to sit while writing. I didn't find this particularly comfortable compared with the smooth grip of the X750 which is a very satisfying pen to hold. In fact, I like the X750 so much that I bought two. Both the X450 and X750 use the same nib which writes quite smoothly and wet. That is to say, it puts a lot of ink onto the page. Jinhao also make a pen that's quite clearly a clone of the Lamy Safari, the original of which is a great mid-budget pen. They call the clone the Jinhao 599. I really don't get along with this pen. It's all plastic and cheap feeling plastic at that. The nib is different to the one used on the previous pens and feels very dry and scratchy. Another well-known Chinese brand is Bauer. The Bauer 388, not to be confused with the Bagger 288, is a clone of the Parker pen, complete with a steel and brass finish and the iconic Parker arrow. It's got a nice smooth all-metal body that's much slimmer than any of the other pens here. The nib on this particular pen is fairly small, and although it writes smoothly, it tends to be a bit dry for me. Finally, the Wingsung 590 is an absolute giant of a pen. It's longer and thicker than the other pens in this group, and has the biggest nib. It's all plastic, but due to its sheer size, doesn't feel too lightweight in the hand. The nib is smooth, however, it's not mounted very sturdily and can easily get out of its correct position. One unusual feature of this pen is its filling mechanism. Instead of a piston converter, it comes with an ink bladder that you squeeze to fill. Out of the box, this bladder absolutely reeked. I'm not sure what type of plastic they made this of, but it had an awful smell that has fortunately dissipated now. But what if you have a little more money to spend? I suggest you check out the Lamy Safari or the Pilot Metropolitan, two hugely popular fountain pens available for about £15 each. Personally, I've indulged in the Twisby Eco, a really cool pen available for about £30. It feels great, writes very smoothly, and it has a fairly unique whole body filling system using an integral piston. This allows for a massive amount of ink in comparison to the converter style pens, meaning you have to refill far less often. It's made of high quality plastic and comes with some accessories to keep it in great condition. Now a note on ink. All the pens in this video come with their own ink filling systems designed to allow you to refill them from a bottle of fountain pen ink. None of the pens came with ink so you need to buy your own. Luckily there's a massive range of inks available with thousands of colours to choose from. I chose some diamine inks which you can get in these little 30ml bottles for a few pounds each. The bottles last a long time as the amount of ink used to write a full page of text is actually very small. Diamine inks are made in the UK and have a massive selection. I chose Imperial Purple, Majestic Blue and Delamere Green. So far the purple has been my favourite. So in conclusion, are cheap fountain pens actually any good? I had to say I was really pleasantly surprised at how good some of the pens on offer were considering their price. I definitely recommend the Jinhao X750 out of the lot. It feels great in the hand, writes smoothly, and is satisfyingly heavy. It's become a daily driver for me, and has replaced the cheap rollable pens that I used to take notes with. Don't forget to buy some ink too. It'll cost around the same as the pen, however, it'll last you a very long time. Thanks for watching. I hope this video has been useful. Please leave a like if you did find it helpful, it would really help the channel grow. 
Also, if you have any favourite pens of your own, or opinions on the pens mentioned in this video, please leave a comment below.